Damn, yo, I came on a super big realization I'm going to share with y'all. So, you know, people talk about oneness, enlightenment being oneness, all that shit. That's a farce. And I'm going to tell you guys why it's a farce. Okay? One is the creation. Okay? One is the creation. When you go from zero to one, it's like you go from nothingness to somethingness. Right? Now, let me tell you like this, okay? When you go from nothingness to somethingness, that somethingness is the illusion. You get it? And I'll break it down to you why. One will eventually go back to zero. One will eventually cycle back to zero. You get how this works? Because here's what happens. The other way is one, two, three, four, five. So one divides into two, two divides into three, three divides into four, four divides into five, all the way down. So it's like having a hundred is just having a hundred pieces of that one. So, one, oneness, one, being something, and celebrating the something, that's the illusion. Right now, we are one. Now, when we pass on, we're going to go back to zero, right? Because this life is one, and then if the life is gone, it's zero. Zero is home. Zero is God. So if you live grounded on zero, grounded on home, grounded on the numbers of three, six, nine, the vortex, the nothingness. Now that's what you call Christ consciousness. That's when you go beyond. That's when you be embodied. That's when God is. You become like one. It's like not. It's you're none because you're none. You're God. If that makes sense. God is working through you. You're like a temple now. <laughs> I'm just a temple, man. Allowing the flow to flow through me. And I think that's the best way I could describe it, man. I don't think anyone on the YouTube is describe it like this. So hope you, hopefully you guys understand it i don't even know if it's gonna be understood whatever